I despise the Prime Minister. And guess what? Guess what? Millions and millions and millions of people in this country despise the Prime Minister. I don't respect the Prime Minister at all. Islamist extremists and far-right groups are spreading a poison. That poison is extremism. It aims to drain us of our confidence in ourselves as a people and in our shared future. They want us to doubt ourselves, to doubt each other, to doubt our country's history. Well, he was really talking about Muslims because that's the imminent theme of his, I think, forlorn hopes of re-election to whip up Islamophobic, racist fervor in the likes of GB News, uh, which has been uh, at the forefront. Yes, I'm talking about you. Uh, GB News at the forefront, presenter after presenter, program after program, pumping out hatred of Muslims. Can get rid of, expel this cancer of, uh, of Islamophobia, of, of um, anti uh, Muslim hatred from the country once. Thinly disguised as hatred of extremism, but when you ask them, what do you mean by extremism? Who are the extremists? They can never tell. It's clear to me that Sunak has identified Muslims and Gaza as the proximate center of that wedge issue that he intends to use as perhaps his only hope of re-election. It's quite clear that there's going to be a raft of measures uh, that will take away still further freedoms from the British people. Freedom to speak, freedom to assemble, freedom to protest and to demonstrate. And if they had their way, freedom to elect people that the establishment doesn't like. That was also the meaning of his uh, rather embarrassing impromptu performance outside number 10.